Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Star Wars Empire War Thrones Revenge mod. This is the 2.2 demo, and we're playing as the New Republic. And uh, yeah, we're not losing. I'm not entirely convinced we're winning, though. Uh, Grand Admiral, not Grand Admiral, uh, Warlord Zinge. I was say Grand Admiral Thrawn, that's entirely the wrong character. Warlord Zinge has been pushing through on this side. He's only taken the control of the orbital of one of our worlds, and we were able to get our fleet out of there. But yeah, there's a Super Star Destroyer kind of somewhere in this area, and we don't have the forces to tackle that right yet. Uh, so we're kind of pushing forward on this side against the Greater Maldrood forces. And having more success here, we have beaten back their biggest fleet so far. And what I'm planning to do, I think what we need to do is take this fleet here. We've got control of the Rosh Asteroid Belt, that's fine. I want to take this fleet and push it through Metalorn, Bimisari, and Charos IV. Take out these space stations so they can't be building any more capital ships. There were two space stations give you a lot of uh, give you a lot more options in level one. We've already taken out two of their level threes. This one's only been built up to level one anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that. So these are my priorities right now. And if we can hold the orbitals of these world, I can actually bring some reinforcements down from Mon Calamari up here. We have four capital ships, five corvettes, and some fighter squadrons up there that I would really, really like to have back down in this fleet here, which is really hurting for capital ships right now. The backbone of this fleet, eleven Hapen Battle Dragons. Um yeah, I mean, Hapen Battle Dragons are useful, but I'm not convinced they're going to win us this war. Anyway, let's launch an assault, shall we? Okay, engaging over Metalorn. Doesn't look like there's a defending fleet, just a level 2 space station, so we should be able to take this fairly quickly and easily. Let's take a look. We've got our scout corvette jumping in first, as always. You always want to have one of these ships in your command slot. It means they can jump in and scout for you. And that means, one, you don't get all your ships jumped in at the same time, and you get to choose Enemy what ships come in. Oh, hello. There we go. Right, what are we actually looking at here? They have one Golan 1 platform. That's nothing too big to worry about. They do have some Gladiators Star Destroyers and some of these Arquitans, light cruisers. These are probably free ships spawned by the station, so no real value in destroying them other than they're trying to Jeez, stop us so getting to our objective. Now, that platform up there is useful, but because we have the sensor data, we can just jump in behind. Uh, which is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to bring in our Mon Calamari ships here and here. We'll back them up with a couple of Star Destroyers. We do still have four capital ships in this fleet. We used to have a lot more capital ships in this fleet, so, you know, we could be better. Uh, get some anti-fighter stuff in there. And that should do for now. We shouldn't need too much for this fight. There we go, New Republic forces arriving. Right, they put a lot of fire onto you at the start there, but your shields are holding up pretty well. Let's turn you around a bit. You guys want to make sure they're focusing on that space station. Start bringing you about. They are MC-80 Home 1 type. Admiral Akbar's type of capital ship there. Unfortunately, this isn't Akbar himself. I don't know what we need to do to get Akbar, uh, but we don't have him right now. Okay, their space station is down. That was pretty easy. Now we've just got to mop up all these forces here. Uh, the good thing is, they're not going to have any more reinforcements coming in, so we can see exactly what we're facing. And we don't really have to threaten Star any of our ships to get rid of this. So, let's bring our fighters in. Let's get a run on that. Yes, that Golan Platform, that's reporting. pretty weak. I mean, oh, Golan Platform 1s are the weakest ones you can actually get, technically. But they still oh, can put out a surprising amount of firepower, and they do have a lot of bombers around. Oh, so what I want to try and do, can I grab... Yeah, I actually want to focus down some of these. Where's my... Okay, hang on. Let's try and do this. Tie Let's try and be smart here. about this. Where's... Okay, reporting. two interceptors. Go for, for that. The Empire. I want my A-wings on that. And the B-wings are technically B -wings fighters, although I always reporting. thought they were actually bombers, but apparently they are fighters. Uh, go for that. Start trying to attack. chew up some of those before they get in range. And Guns we'll bring in these CR-90s as well. Standing by. A bit more Ready fire on that. Okay, go, go, go. Ah, that wiring squadron is getting a bit screwed up there. But our fighters are charging in. Right, move in, move in, move in. Everything just get in range of that and start firing. And hopefully, that initial volley of bombs, all the torpedoes, will do a good job on that, I'm hoping. X Wing is taking down, chasing down the last few bombers. That uh, Moncal is taking a bunch of fire, but it should be okay. We've definitely got more than enough firepower required for this. Although my Kvets are sitting right on top of it, which is not what I wanted. 
could you guys back off a bit? Thank you. Okay, capital ships are fine. Whoa, I don't even know what exploded over there. Oh, they fled into the asteroid belt. That was a terrible idea. Capital ships in the asteroid belt will explode due to, you know, taking all the damage. Okay, yeah, you can see how much... Okay, you managed to get away, but that's fine. You can't actually stop gladiators escaping like that. They don't actually have engines for you to destroy. And those were free ships anyway, so... Destroying it, not destroying it, they still don't have it after this map. It doesn't appear, doesn't exist on the strategic map. So, that's one heavy frigate shipyard down, one golem platform down. No losses on our side, actually, there. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. Oh, we just got paid as well. We have 6,774 credits in the bank. That is rather nice. Um, we definitely need... We need two things. I need to increase my income, really. But I also need... You know, you know what? We need income. Let's gonna we're gonna start doing. Beginning construction. Just gonna start queuing up mines anywhere I can actually afford to right now. Now you are building mines and troops. I don't need the troops right now. And you're actually maxed out on mines. Really? Wait. What? No, you can't be. You can have five mines on a planet. You have four buildings. But apparently I can't give you any more. Okay, let's not worry about that. Uh, you can still have more. That's your last one. Uh, you are maxing out, you are maxing out. Uh, what are you building? Not much right now. Uh, we could be facing an invasion here quite soon, so I am building up some ground forces for this area. I'm tempted by turbo laser turrets, because they are a very powerful defensive tool. But they're also 4,000 credits, so no. Let's get some more income coming. Beginning construction. Uh, yeah, Building not build that. Canceled. Okay, they're going to be all maxed out there. Carrida, build started. more mines. How are we doing over here? Unfortunately, we've taken a lot of territory, but not much ground. So that's pretty much all we can actually do. New Alderaan, you yeah, can have some more started. mines. And up here... Well, if we're going to be able to reinforce through this place, I can actually build some capital ships here. Not that I have very much money left. So, what I think we're going to build is a bunch of assault frigates, because I am quite liking these. We do get a decent amount of firepower from them, plus they have their own squadrons of fighters, so... I'm going to queue up... Unit can yeah. Okay, no, screw that. Let's try a Dauntless Heavy Cruiser. Vehicle that comes with three squadrons. Right, moving on. I need to leave behind one ship in orbit of Metal Lawn. Just want to try and hold that as long as we can. Uh, I'm going to leave a Strike Cruiser behind because I don't really use them very much. Uh, let's see, that's another level 2 shipyard over there. Heading to destination. Oh, and the Greater Maldrude is counterattacking over Thanos. Looks like a single Imperial 2, though. Okay. Uh, I will begin this battle, because I don't have an auto-retreat option at this stage. We're going to have to load the battle so I can get that Corvette out of there. One Imperial 2 Star Destroyer is not a great threat, though. If I could detach a couple of ships, I can probably chase that down pretty quickly and continue the main thrust of our forces. Might try and do that, actually. We need to try and get this little Karak cruiser out, though. Karak Commander here. Karak Commander here. Right, Understood. start running away. You don't have any special abilities. You don't have any fighters. There's not much we can do with you, really. You're you're not a bad support ship. The enemy. There we go. Just a single Imperial 2. Not even a character. Okay. Well, we are going to retreat, because I don't want to lose this ship. Speed. Uh, the fighters might get a few shots on us. A few shots, uh, a few shots on us, but that Imp Star Juice is far too far away. And we did manage to escape. Okay. Where did you come from? They must have jumped in from... Oh, maybe that was even... No, they couldn't have built that ship over here. I don't actually know where that sh how that ship could have got to Thanos. It must have come through the worlds over here, but I'm not entirely sure how or why. That's fine. We'll chase that down momentarily. They can't do too much damage around here, because the nearest space station is actually here at Kashyyyk, and that's only a level one, uh, level 1 space station. Everything else is being built on the ground in this area right now. So that's kind of fine, I guess. Um, yeah, our army is safe back there. We need to bring that up soon, because I do want to take some more of this territory from them. You're jumping to there, and hello, there's a character at Arthur Meridius. Uh, we have no idea what their defences are, though. Uh, not seeing much in orbit, though. Okay. Let's give this one a try. Let's see what they've actually got here. That could be a ground character. He might not actually be involved in the space battle, although I don't know. Whoa, no, three Imperial Star Destroyers. Hello. Okay. I mean, that's not terrible. We can probably handle that. One of them is a character as well. And we've got Pyrus coming in. Okay, that changes everything. Break, break, break. We are not launching any ships right now. 
Yep, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. So, pirates, uh, this will be interesting, because this is actually quite a strong fleet. We've got three Imperial 2-class Star Destroyers, by the looks of it. Uh, Golem 1 platform, Golem 1 platform, and a level 2 space station spawning all these guys. They also have a lot of fighters out and about. That's quite impressive. Okay, not bad, not bad. Now what's going to happen here is a bunch of pirates are going to come through, and those are most likely to be Empire of the Hand ships. They're not actually a playable faction yet, but they do have some very powerful ships. If they bring in enough of those ships, we might not actually need to do anything for this fight. Let's wait and see who appears. Meanwhile, we'll get our Corvette out of there, put it safe and tidy in this corner, hide it from their sensors in this dust cloud. Now, we might even be able to get a few fighter kills just by having this thing sit here. They bring in a lot of fighters, which it kind of looks like they're doing. Oh boy, yeah, that actually is a lot of fighters. Jeez, Tell you what, this is a chance to get some good free kills here. Um, I do have a bunch more of you On guys, so... Right away. Let's Heading just out. dump a whole bunch of corvettes in front of them. They're full of anti-fighter goodness. And fighters are going to start exploding. We'll bring you around as well. Uh, there's nothing better than Imperial fighters exploding in the midst. Okay, they are... Woo! Definitely after that guy, though. Break away a bit for me there, please, thank you. Uh, I do want those Arc 170s dead, because they obviously have the torpedo launchers. Should have probably prioritized at the start, but your shields are still up. So no lasting damage. I have lost the ability to multi-select ships, though, which is a little bit of a problem. Okay, I need to select all the ships here. Game. Jesus Christ, game. Why? don't know what you guys are shooting at, but it's not the thing shooting at you. Okay, take out this Skipper Blast Boats. Okay, this is a known bug. Standing there we go. Right. We're blind in this nebula. Yep. We're blind in this nebula. I know, you've said that twice now. Okay, what do they actually have over here? Ooh, they brought in an Instar Juice of their own and a Victory plus some Lancer Frigates. Okay. Now, unfortunately, they are heading straight for me. This was not the plan, guys. This was not the plan. You were meant... Yes, oh, I can box select again. That's good. They were meant to go we're after the Imperials. Why are they coming straight for me? Oh, actually though, hello. They've deployed that their character is actually pushing out, trying to come after my Corvettes. In fact, they've got a whole bunch of stuff coming up here. Ooh, this could be a bit dangerous. You guys get as far back into that corner as you can. No, 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 don't turn around, turn around. If these guys get close enough, they will engage each other. I need those pirates just to come a little bit closer. Just got to try and keep those Corvettes safe at the back there. They shouldn't be able to see them right now, because they're in the field. So how close do they have to get to be able to shoot each other? Come on, that's got to be in weapons range. Someone fire, please. Fire before they engage my Corvettes. Come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, now we've got pirates on Imperials. And I am perfectly content to watch this play out. As long as nothing actually starts engaging those Corvettes, because they will die pretty quick against an Imperial Star Destroyer. But... Oh, now you're turning my direction. This could be bad. Oh, actually, we're engaging you now. That's not quite the plan. Shit. Yeah, you can see how quickly our shields drop there, but you are turning away, which means very few of your weapons are going to be in range. There's a tractor beam firing off into the sun there. That's fine. How are we doing? Okay, you're really coming in for me, aren't you? Okay, that gladiator took a bunch of damage. They're taking out that Arquidons. Now, those are free ships. They don't really count. What I want is that Imstar to be, there we go, actually tearing through the shields on this guy. That works out quite nicely. Taking down one of the Lancers, taking down the Arquitans. And this character is getting wrecked. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, you guys just, yeah, they're still safe up there. They're turning away. They're going to lose a whole bunch of ships. They're going to actually kill this character for me. Who even is this? Admiral Larm, Grand Admiral. Ooh, 5% health and 10% combined bonus to his fleet. Yeah, we want him dead. Which you've just done. Take out that for me. Now, are they going to turn around and come after my Corvettes? Or are they going to head down and try and take out the rest of the Imperial forces? I know which one I want to happen. Okay, you've stopped. You're turning around. You're heading... They are heading south. This is actually pretty good. Okay. I... Okay, you're coming... AI is having an interesting day here. What is the plan here? Don't make that turn around. Don't make them turn around. 
You know what? I think I've probably got the firepower to beat this, so I'm just going to engage it from here. As long as these guys keep heading south, I want to see how much damage they can do to this defensive structure. A Golan one and an Aquitans. I mean, they've got a lot of bombers. They really, really should have kept their uh, Lance of Frigate with them for anti-fighter cover. Uh, it looks like my four anti-fighter ships can't really defeat their one anti-fighter ship, but hey. And you've turned around. Oh, and you're turning around. Crap. Okay. I think the jig might be up. You're fleeing. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. Maybe they can. I can make them forget about me again if I just keep hiding up here. Corvette moving out. Okay, you've got some bit of shield damage. We might have to do this. I think. I don't think they're going to play along. I don't think they're going to do what I want them to do. So let's try and take out this star destroyer as quickly as we can. We're moving out. With a couple of our star destroyers. We'll bracket it with fire, take down his shields, take out his engines, take out all of the stuff it's got. Coming Meanwhile, the Mon Calamari ships will go after the victory up here for me. Uh, put you a right bit back away. there. Get you some Roger supporting that. fire, so maybe some strike no, frigates. Increase the flank. Ahead full. There we go. And we've still got a whole bunch of Hape and Battle Dragons we can jump in later on to try and take out some of the stuff down there. Ships arriving! Whoa! Nelly, you just got wrecked. Okay. I guess they got hit before the shields came up, which is kind of bad. Right, focus down. Yep. Ah, the guy who sounds like Akbar already has the right idea here. How are you guys doing? Order confirmed. Destroy the shield generator. Okay, focusing on fire. Let's get shots out. I want to see those shields down. I want to see these pirate ships wrecked. There we go. And that Lanza Frigate is actually getting wrecked by our fighters, which is kind of impressive. Okay, bring down these guys, just in case they've got anything else we might need. Okay, let's switch fire around. Now, you guys focus on the victory. This whole lot focus on the Imperial Class Star Destroyer. Shield Generator is still up. Man, you guys did not do a good job there. Woo, okay. No, maybe I'll take that back. You did do a good job there. Okay, let's finish this guy off. We took a bit of damage on you. You got a bit wrecked jumping in without shields like that, and they are focusing on my corvettes. Did we lose a corvette? We might have actually lost a Corellian corvette there. Yeah, damn, we did. Man, they must have focused that down hard when I saw sent them charging in there like that. However, we have defeated the enemy force. That is very, very good. I'm going to start turning you guys around. I'm going to form up a battle line. Now we've just got to breach the rest of their defences. Take out that Golan platform if we can. Order confirmed. Uh, what is the best way of doing this going to be at this point? Copy. Normally I try and jump in pretty close. Oh man, you are pretty banged up Form as well. Up. Where are my... Yeah, we've actually taken some losses here now. Okay. Orders received. Don't I know copy. why you're not grouped with the other ones, but hey, do your own thing. Strike cruisers. Do strike cruisers spawn ships? Carries two fighter squadrons. Okay. How many more of those have I got? Was that all of them? That was all of them. I'm not too worried about the fighter threat they present here. This is what concerns me. This is a lot of fight firepower down here. Which makes me think... We want to do bombing strikes. I want to bring in these uh, Hapen Battle Dragons. Not for their firepower, but for the fighters they're going to launch for me. Also bring in those E-Ring squadrons we've got. How many of you can I get? Reinforcements on route. Okay, now they will deploy lots of fighters and I believe some bombers for me. We're going to use them for massed fighter strikes. This is my plan going Weapons forward. Armed. I'm going to want basically yes, every man. fighter we can get. Awaiting orders. Which isn't that many because it's not letting me group them up very well, course. but still, I'll take what Squadron I can get. Reporting. Standing by. Start moving Bomber you guys out. We're going to just group by. up everything we've got. Okay, I'm going to leave you behind because you're damaged. I don't actually want to lose any ships. We've really lost one ship, yes, Commander. which we can ill afford at this point. Oh, crap. Let's move out. That is not where I told you to go. Orders. You are being engaged by that. That's fine. We can actually destroy that pretty easily, but I don't want to take damage. If we take damage taking that out now, we're going to struggle to take out those two Star Destroyers and another Golden Platform. Plus, they've already reinforced, so the Aquitans and the Gladiators are already back from where they were. Waiting in. nearby in hyperspace, I guess, is the reinforcement mechanic we're seeing here. Okay, you guys can come down a bit further. You guys can form up a line there. 
I always want to keep these guys in the back line because they're not very strong. They have good weapon systems, but they can't really stand up one-on-one -on -one against any capital ships. So you've got to try and keep them defended. Bombers you guys are going a bit far away. Boarding. Okay, this is a pretty good fighter force here. Where are you guys... Wait, Engine turn around. Activated. I'm clicking, for the love of God. Receiving orders. Weapons armed. Right. Weapons ready. And what I want to do is actually just grab all the ready fighters. Is there a way of actually just letting me grab all the fighters? It would be really nice if you would let me Awaiting orders. grab... All the fighters, no. Okay, fine. Uh, I just want to send all the fighters together. But I guess we're going to have to try and group them up a bit. So, those are bombers. What other bombers have we got? Got a bunch of wirings in there. We really actually don't have that many bombers. We've got a lot of fighters. Okay, I'm going to make that group one. Uh, the TIE fighters, I really don't care about. They're just cannon fodder at this point. Uh, oh, that's another bomb, fine. bomber squadron over there, and a bomber Bombers squadron there. The you guys ready. can go join that. You calling for me, sir? The X-Wings, I'm going to add into that group, because they do have torpedo launchers. Another bomber squadron there. Okay, uh, now you lot yes, sir. are pretty good anti-fighters, yes, so we're going to try and keep you grouped up. So you're group ready. two. If you let me Roger have all of that, that as group one, that'd be lovely. Form up. There we go. Group Awaiting one. Orders. Group two, group Bombers one, group two, group one, in. group two. And I'm just going to send the TIE fighters in just to, like, Course suck up set. a bit of damage. Right. Roger that. Let's start merging these two forces together. Y -wing here. They are going to be a bit slower than I'd like, but it should be fine. If those fighters can go in first, clear out all of the defending fighters, some of which are already a bit damaged, which is good by me, then the bombers should be able to come in pretty easily. Problem is the bombers are slow, so we've got to wait a bit. And I'm still Warm somehow up. missing Order a bomber, bomber squadron from that. Target confirmed. Okay, bombers are going to go. Bomb up. Awaiting orders. Okay, we're going to try and take out their fighters first. Need these bombers to come in. We are launching. That looks good. That looks good. Some of their fighters got past, but that's okay. Okay, that was pretty good, and it's starting to pull some of their forces out of position here. Okay. All groups just start wrecking that for me. A lot of those fighters do have missile launchers as well, so we've got proton and concussion torpedoes going in. I want to try and focus as much damage onto this as we can with these fighters, and I think we'll be good. In fact, you're almost entirely dead. Right. Fighter group. Break away and start engaging these fighters. Bomber group. Go for that. If we can take out this, the uh, space station, they won't get very many reinforcements. Meanwhile, I just need the fighters to just tie up the enemy fighters as long as they can. That was a good run. We've done a lot of damage there. Okay, I think we can start moving in our capital ships here. There we go, taking that down. Okay, next target will be... Let's see, what do we want to target on next? Yeah. Bomber group, focus on that Star Destroyer. You guys... Hunt and destroy. They haven't got many fighters left, which is good. And we've got a whole line of capital ships coming in. You are not long for this world, my friend. And we are starting to get through your shields. As soon as we get through those shields and start doing subsystem damage, I'm going to go for the engines. I don't want these guys escaping. So that will actually be our priority, not the shield generators for once. 
Okay, they brought out their light ships in front. It's a very bad thing for them. We're actually launching more bombers and fighters now because we've already taken some losses. We'll bring in the secondary line of ships to support. You're taking a lot of firepower. If they're going to focus on you, we'll hit up your shield generator. That'll be fine. Okay, you are taking a lot of damage. We can start focusing on this guy over here now. Go for his engines as well. I do not want anything escaping here. Let's focus this down for real quickly because you are taking a lot of fire there. Come about, take out this golem platform for me. Yeah, you are pretty banged up there. You've just lost your engines as well. You're kind of running for it. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to just get the fighters to go clear you up because they don't have any more fighters left. And as I said, we've got enough launchers between them that they can do a lot of damage here. Pick off a few of these lighter ships. Uh, you've gone a bit deep. That's not quite what I was intending. Oh! Whoa! They took out our MC-80. Okay. Took my eye off the ball there. Come about. Hape and Battle Dragons are forming up. We've got the Strike Cruisers providing some long-range firepower. And fighters are pretty much on everything right now. Damn, we didn't need to lose that MC-80. Losing that MC-80 was a stupid maneuver. I should have paid more attention to that when I saw its shields were low. Uh, what are they actually retreating with? They've got one badly damaged Arquitans back here. And that's a free unit, so that doesn't even count as getting away. But we actually took some losses there. I'm surprised. I mean, technically we took out four Star Destroyers and a Victory Class Star Destroyer and a character. Uh, also, they had an IPV-1 in there somewhere. I didn't even notice that damn thing. But, okay, yeah, Corrading Corvette, that's nothing. The MC-80, when we're already short on capital ships, that is quite a big blow. But, uh, still, it's a victory. I'll take it for the time being. Right, I think on that note, I'm going to take a break here, though, before we push on to Bimisari and Charos 4. And also Thanos, again, I guess, to try and blockade that and uh, stop them building up a level 3 space station there. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully, I'm going to see you later for the next one of these. Bye.